quick, let's go. Quick, pull the toes up. Right. Yeah, so so how much you weighed it in? 168. So yeah, so he's up uh, 13 pounds in two months. Since he got here? Since he, since he started training and his vertical's up four inches. With, what, a thir with 13 extra pounds. What's, your, what's the goal for this season for playing weight-wise? 180. 180? Yeah, you like came in here at 155? Yeah. yeah. So. Has to all be muscle, right? <laughs> yeah, it does. No fat. So obviously you're pretty happy two months. You've put up uh, 13 pounds. It's all good weight. Yeah, it's all good weight. And you've added uh, four plus inches to your vert? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm excited. Good. good stuff. All right, we're excited to see you work. All right. Mark, um, I wanted to talk to you about Evan here for just a minute. Um, Evan Bowler, Westland High School. You're going to be a junior. Yeah. And what's your uh, size right now, height and weight? Uh, height, 6'4", 285. 6'4", 285. And, um, how long have you been working out with Mark? Um, about a little bit longer than a month. About a month? Yeah. And uh, have you, what are you here for? What are you working on? Um, get more athletic, stronger, you know, just be able to play better. What, uh, what did you play last year? I played offensive tackle last year. Okay. Um, I heard you had a pretty good summer and all that. Um, what was your uh, weight and everything last year when you played? Last year was right like 290. 290? Yeah. So you've gotten taller? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So Mark, um, being a trainer, what, what is a big, what's the difference uh, for a kid like this to be out here? I mean, obviously he's big, but uh, what can help him, you know, as far as from your, your point going forward into college and things he needs to work on? Well, I mean, number one is, you know, making sure that he has a good fitness base. So, I mean, once we do begin to do the harder work, which will take him to, you know, to the next level physically, that he's prepared to handle it. And so that's why this first four weeks has been just a lot of general preparation to get him ready. And he came in like 297, and now he's down to 285. I was going to say, I was here, you know, last month when I was out. He was out here working out, and he looked good, but now he, he looks... If you told me he was 285 right now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see that. Yeah. So you just sort of getting him zeroed out to a good fitness level, cardiovascular, all that stuff. Yep. And then you're gonna, you're gonna kick it in fifth year and push well, it. Well, yeah. And so the, so the next cycle will be harder than the, than this one. And, you up for um, that? So the goal with Evan is to just make sure that by the time he's a senior, he's, you know, the best that he can possibly be and healthy too. Well, he's. He's lucky because he's got the size that guys are looking for at the Division One level to play somewhere along that offensive line, you know, center guard, maybe tackle. He's a tackle right now, but guys are getting bigger, right? So yeah. this is sort of, uh, and you live here close by in the community, but uh, you're fortunate to have a, a good training facility where you can come and yeah. work on your core strength. How are you feeling about things? Are you feeling more explosive or better? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, a lot more healthier. Just, yeah, all in general, just a lot better. Awesome. Well, as you know, I work with a lot of linemen in, in uh, college recruiting thing and, and so many times being big is, is sort of expected to get you there and, and the difference between really achieving the most is going to be the, the how you work it within your frame you know your body and well yeah and just athletically Evan is like a skill guy but he's you know 285 and so we want to continue to enhance that capability because watching him move is uh he's moving on uh, yeah you got two more years of high school football left. Yeah. Hey, thanks, he may Mark. be he may be uh, illegal by the time he gets to be oh, a senior. Okay. <laughs> well, you. <laughs> Let's hope not. All right. Thanks, Evan. Right, Good thanks. luck to you out here. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Thank you.
so he's now he's up to 31 and a half. That's better. Yeah. That's better. So it's another, so he's up four inches since he started. I <laughs> 13 pounds more body weight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so take a little break and then we'll uh, we'll start the next portion of it. Okay. Quick, quick, go! So what's, what's going on with Rocky out here? Um, obviously, he looks better than ever. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm wearing the coat. <laughs> um, tell me about him and, and where he's at with your training yeah. and stuff. What's... Well, I mean, Rocky's a junior, so I mean, obviously, this upcoming year is extremely important, you know, for him because he's got some lofty goals, which I truly uh, am aware that he's capable of achieving those. Um, and so now it's making sure that he's fit again to go to the next level uh, with the training. What, uh, what what do you, what's your weight right now? What did you come in at today? Uh, today I went in at 199. You got 199? He looks like he's about 170, you mm -hmm. know, other than really muscular, but right. is that because of muscle mass? Is that what we're seeing? Just yeah. muscles dance? Yeah, and I mean, so. He looks great. Yeah, so again, it's, you know, making sure that we're getting the weight on him as a running back to, so he can withstand the punishment, but also make sure that it's functional and it's just not, how, um, you know, most trainers, you kind of go and you get trained, right? And then you leave, and that's kind of the end of it. So you might do specific exercises. How, I know how important nutrition is. We all hear it. How have you been able to bring that piece into your um, routine? How's oh, well, a lot of it was the diet plan that he gave me. Um, so a lot of it's protein. After all these hard workouts and everything, that's, what, that's something he really, really drills to our brains. And then uh, lots of carbs and stuff uh, on the off days. and. Just eating nonstop throughout the day, just get all that good stuff. Is this a collegiate type of uh, meal plan that he could expect to be on? Should he make it to a big university, or do yeah. you think they're? Yeah, absolutely. Because this is not how high school kids are used to eating, right? No, it's not something high school coaches uh -huh. do a great job of. So no, because like coaches, like you know, coaches will say, "Well, Rocky, I want you to be 205," but it's yeah. like they don't, they don't give him, him the there. building blocks on right. how to get there, and that's why post-workout nutrition with these kids is so important. You know, as a dad, I mean, all of us, we're doing the best we can with our athletes, but, you know, we're going to end up at the vitamin store saying, what can I do to get to get my kid big, give me some of that, you know, muscle max or creatine or whatever. Mark, how much should parents be concerned about what they're pumping down their kids? How much is this being abused right now by products that probably... Yeah, I mean, a lot of misused? it... Yeah, I mean, and that's a, that's a great question. A lot of it is misused because they want that extra edge with, with the supplements when, you know, the training may not be right. Yeah. So no matter what they're eating, it's not going to make a difference because the training or the nutrition is improperly. Kind of like putting a high performance additive in your car when your engine's out of tune and, and, and or you're burning the wrong oil or gas or your air filter's clogged, it's yeah. not going to help, right? Yeah. And with Rocky, you know, with these kids, I mean, the, the training needs to go hand in hand with the nutrition. We're going to be doing a, a bunch of work together this year, uh, Nicholas, in terms of what happens from here, from PTC, you know, the camp season, the combine season's coming along, but um, you've been doing this every year since you were young, trying to get ready for the next year, and it's only barely February, um, and it'll be here before we know it, but uh, when you look back at all the years that you've come into the season, are you excited about where you're at right now? for this season, for your senior year? This is the most developed I've been before a season. Like, this, this is the greatest increase I've had from the end of the season to right now, uh, based on uh, weight, weight gain, strength, quickness, all that all that type of uh, increases. So this is a And you went to the exciting. Army All-American Combine. You went in as a wide receiver, right? Mm -hmm. Which no, is something that you kind of debated, because that's not necessarily where you're projecting. Did you just want to see how you stacked up against the other guys, and then how did that go? Um, yeah, I basically went in there. They said I could play defense or offense, but they really wanted me to play offense. And then I thought I stacked up real well. Uh, I did real, you looked pretty uh, good. really good there. So. But they didn't know who you were really coming in because you hadn't been known. You're more known as a guy that might project uh, as a defender, right? Mm -hmm. This is kind of where people see you. Yeah, yeah, a lot right? of the uh, analysts that I met down there were saying that they thought I was a safety coming, going to go in there, but they were going to watch me as a slot when I uh, did all that. So okay. that was exciting. Well, good luck. Thanks. You know, thanks for taking the time, and we'll look forward to seeing you down some of the Nike events and stuff like that. It's, 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 uh,
So we've been out here all day watching guys. Um, how's it going out here for you and how's your preparation and everything coming since last time I saw you a couple weeks back? Uh, so far it's been good. I got a, I did my test over a month span and all my results have come back. I've improved in every area. So I'm excited so far. That's just in a month. So I can't wait to be doing this. You look leaner, but I'm guessing you haven't lost any weight. I haven't lost any weight. I've, I weigh uh, two pounds more than I started. So yeah, it's good months. I'm putting on good weight and I'm Jumping numbers and stuff are going Yeah, good. all my jumping numbers are up and my sprint numbers are up. And yeah, I'm excited to do this um, all summer. I mean, regardless of whether we're here or not, how do you feel to be here with guys from teams? It, it actually, it feels really good. It's like you get to know your opponent a little bit yeah. and you kind of you build friendships, you know, it's, and then, you know, you know when we play them during yeah, we, the We always talk about Friday Night Lights, you know, we're going to kick your butt or, you know, yeah. whatever. There's always smack talk, but it's kind of neat to see you guys all here together. And, you know, when we go down to the combines and stuff like that, you'll have knucklehead like that guy over there and, and, uh, so it, it, you're enjoying that yeah, aspect? Yeah, I, I do enjoy meeting guys through schools and making new friends with other people. And then to like, you know, season comes around, you know them, and, you know. I mean, you're one of the, school. you'll be a, a top 6A running back coming into the season, linebacker. Uh, Steven Long over here, top 5A guys. So you can kind of see how you guys match up to each other, different body types yeah. and stuff. But yeah. that's kind of a neat part of it. I mean, did you think that was going to happen when you start working out with other guys? Or that just kind of an added benefit? Yeah, it's, it, I, I didn't know that working out here, because on my first day here, no one was really as precious as me, so I didn't know who else was working out here. The more I worked out here, more I like else, like Jordan and Steven yeah. and everyone else. So it's been it's been added. It's been cool. Benefit. Are you uh, uh, nervous or excited at all about this next year, about what that's going to bring for you? And, and you I'm know. excited mostly, because it's going to be, I mean, just play football again. I've been waiting. I mean, since, since the season ended, I want to get back in it again. So I'm excited. What's, your, uh, what's the goals this year? Uh, obviously, you want to get back to that championship game and, and you know, make the difference and win it for your team. I know that. Um, uh, if you never played football, you know, again after high school, would it, would, would it be the end of you? Uh, I'd be, I, I really, it'd be devastating. Cause I, I, I can't imagine yet what it's like, what it's going to feel like my last game that I play, how it feels like my pads for last time. I can't really imagine right now, but. I see. These guys walking around behind us, uh, a couple guys here we know are going on to play Division One football next year who are graduating a year ahead of you. You know, they're going to get their chance. You want to be one of those guys. Um, do you have any idea where you'll project going into the next level, or is it still also new that you're just not sure? I, I really have no idea. I still haven't finished my film. I still haven't finished I haven't letters yet. I haven't got any camps yet, so I, don't, I have no idea what to expect right you, now. You guys uh, feel at all like you're playing catch-up because there's juniors that have got offers, or does that bother you at all? Yeah, I, I sort of feel like I'm behind because I haven't got all my stuff together yet, so I'm still trying to get all everything going. But yeah. So if Portland State called tomorrow and said we're going to make you an offer. Would that be? Would, would you be excited? Uh, I'd be ecstatic. You know, okay. I've, I haven't anything. Anything. For some, for some guys, it's like I'm. I'm wondering when Oregon's going to call me and offer me. Yeah. Or I wonder when USC's going to call it. And I think some people maybe aren't realistic. No matter yeah. how good they are. Yeah. Mom or dad think they're you know all world or whatever. Are you going to be happy with any opportunity you get? I mean, I know you want to go all the way. Yeah. We all want it. We all yeah. want that yeah. for you guys. But. You love the game enough, you'll play at a small college, big college, it's not going to matter in the end. Well, since I was a kid, I'm, I've always dreamed of playing for the big schools and everything, but I've become more, I guess as time goes on, more realistic about what could happen. And, you know, Oregon or one of the big schools would be awesome. I mean, it'd be great, but I'm realistic with the fact that, you know, a big sky school, something like that would be amazing too. I wouldn't, like, look at look down at any, any sort of offer would be a good offer. Right. Good chance to get your school paid for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's, why, that's why I look at it. And, and probably and equally important, you get a chance to play, fix, more football. play one more day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why when guys say, you know, cherish it, because it's all going to it's going to end for everybody. Even the guys I know, you know, probably guys we've talked to from the NFL, 